Good evening. Sydney's transport systems are in chaos tonight. Trains limping back into service with buses and cabs jammed after the entire rail network was shut down when communications failed. Let's go live to Tom Hartley at Martin Place Station. Tom, just how bad is it now? Mark, it's a nightmare for anyone rocking up here and seeing just this. There's nothing on the screen. Trains have only literally just this moment just started running again here. But there are disruptions right across the entire network. This was a critical issue causing mass delays right in the midst of peak hours. So people are being told to avoid train travel if they can. But good luck if you can find another way home. Investigators now have to figure out what or who causes debacle to begin with. It was compared to a breakdown in air traffic control, not planes, but trains. An estimated 340 of them grounded by a communications breakdown. The Sydney train's digital radio network went off air around 2.45 p.m. Engineers tried to reset the system. Um, unfortunately, they weren't able to reset the train radio system. Leaving train drivers essentially blind, unable to communicate with the operations centre and unable to proceed. They managed to crawl to platforms but for safety's sake could go no further. Safety will always be our priority. Every line was affected from Sydney to Kiama, Newcastle, the Blue Mountains. I am a bit frustrated but like what can you do you know? Do you know why that they're not letting people through? This message, typical. Delays occurring due to a train communication issue. Passengers cleared off trains. Those hoping to get home turned away. Station barriers were locked. They tried buses, cabs, ride shares, but the alternatives were never going to cope. Uber trips reportedly quoting $230 for a ride to Parramatta. A, a cab fare to the Central Coast is 375 bucks. Who's going to cover miles? Sydney Trains has a backup radio system. Engineers switched over and it eventually worked. That switching took place around about 30 minutes ago and about 15 minutes ago at around 4pm this afternoon, trains have progressively recommenced operations. How long are you going to be waiting for? Well, they said six hours, but hopefully there's another train coming. Did you just say six hours? They did say That's six what hours. they said. We thought, oh, well, we'll go and get a bus, but we can't get a bus until 10 o'clock. But the knock-on effects will continue into the night. Commuters advised to delay travel if they can, maybe stay in town for a beer. But no cheers or beers for Sydney trains, determined to find out who or what was at fault. We've got trains running again and we will fully investigate the root cause of this particular incident. There was a software upgrade at the weekend, but early advice is it's not to blame. Fears of a cyber attack have also been dismissed. Tom Hartley, 7 News. <laughs>